right, I'd like to welcome the originator of the global celery juice movement and number one New York Times bestselling author of several books, including Medical Medium, Cleanse to Heal, and his newest, Brain Saver and Brain Saver Protocols, the medical medium, Anthony William. Welcome to the program. It's an honor. It's an honor to be here. Seriously, I can't believe this is incredible. I'm so excited for you. And let me just say, this is like a mini workout here, okay? 600 pages each, Anthony. What inspired them? Oh, yeah. Oh, these are packed with information. Every line, though, there's no fluff in here. There's no cookie cutter, nutter butter, fluff, whatever in here. This is like packed with information. It's because people have brain problems and we need answers. We can't just get the old like, well, you know, just take a vacation, uh, take a little time off and you're a little burnt out or something. We need real answers. People have the depression, anxiety, OCD, the bipolar, depersonalization. They're suffering and struggling out there. And that's just a few things. And there's so much more everybody's dealing with. All right. Well, before we get into the books, you are a medium. So there is a mystical element to the very yes. material work that you do. Tell me how the two go hand in hand. Well, all the information in the Medical Medium book series comes from above, and I got a kick me sign on my back. So if anybody wants to give me a kick, it's, it's okay. You can start. And But it comes from above this information, and it's new information, original, unique. There's no citations because it's original info, but detailed, comprehensive science before science ever gets it. It's it's incredible. And it comes from above. So starting at age four, that happened. So when I was age four, I woke up one morning and heard a voice. And that voice had medical information. And I didn't even know what it was saying. I didn't even know what the voice was saying. It was talking about uh, you know, Epstein-Barr viruses and pathogens in people and toxic heavy metals and chemicals and problems and all this stuff. And then illnesses and conditions. And it was all advanced though. No one ever heard of the information and I had to learn it young. And then as I was growing up, teach it. So I've been a messenger for this information. And you know, it, when I even talk about it, even now, I still say to myself, like, who's going to believe it? Like, it's really that incredible, even to this day, after all these years. And the books are that information put into the books for people to heal. So the spirit is like your ghostwriter, Anthony. Yes, why definitely. Did, why uh, did he choose you? I'm not a smart guy, that, which is really interesting. Never went to college. I'm not a smart guy. I'm not educated. It was just about me being a good listener. Mm. And that's all, it, all that needed to happen. And I had to be a good listener, understand what was coming through, put it in these New York Times bestselling books. Millions around the world are using them to heal. The medical medium information works like this. No one's going to use medical medium information unless they tried everything else because you don't go to a medium guy. It's like you go to this doctor, this doctor, you're at another internist, another specialist, you're getting more blood work done. You're taking some medication or whatever you're doing, or you go to a natural doctor, whatever it is. Eventually you just run again, you're bumping your head against the wall and you're like, why am I not better? Why am I not getting real answers? And then someone says, have you tried the medical medium stuff? Have you checked out his book? Or some divine guidance happens. Like someone feels like it's angelic, like they stumbled across the book in the street or something. They saw it somewhere at the right moment in their life. And then they opened it and it made sense. It was answers and they applied it and they moved their lives forward. The books have gotten around the world, not because of money and big promotions and all that, it got around the world because people actually healed in numbers that are great, just great numbers, millions around the world. And that's how the medical medium information, everything all just came together. All right. Well, let's get into the book. You say your liver is your brain's best friend, but what about the gut? Well, well okay. Well, uh, the popular trend is your gut. It's all about your gut. But really, it's about other things like the liver. Everybody's liver gets stagnant and sluggish filled with toxins and poisons and pathogens. And then these stagnant, sluggish livers get all fatty and dense and everybody gets bloated with the livers being like this. And then the liver, when it gets sick, even when doctors don't know it, their liver is sick because it's this progression that takes time over the years. When the liver starts to get sick, it can't protect the brain anymore. It can't. 
Your gut's not protecting your brain. It's your liver that's protecting your brain because that's your filter. You guys, did you ever have a fish tank? Did you ever have a fish tank? Get all your little fishies and are swimming around in there. And then there's a filter in the tank. The filter's filtering the water so all the fish can be okay and not, right? And not suffocate. Well, that's what your liver is. It's your filter. If you ever have a water filter by your sink, that's your liver. And so your liver is filtering all this stuff, filtering all this stuff. And it's protect, it's protecting your brain. Cause here's the problem. When the brain starts to become the filter, now we're going wrong. The liver gets clogged up and then all the stuff is floating around in us, all the toxins, you guys. And now the brain is becoming the filter. And when the brain becomes the filter, depersonalization, anxiety, depression, bipolar, OCD, uh, sadness, uh, mystery, anger, everything just starts to go wrong. Weakness in the limbs, fatigue, burning skin on the, on the body, uh, pain and numbness, tingles and numbness, everything just starts to go haywire. I think what's interesting about your method is, and you mentioned everybody has a symptom, but rather than taking a symptom and isolating the treatment for that symptom to that particular organ, so acne is a problem in the skin, depression is a problem in the brain, arthritis is a problem in the joints, you seem to find answers in the seemingly unrelated. Would you agree? For sure. Like, let's talk about acne just for a couple of seconds. Well, acne is blamed on hormones, but really what acne is, it's a streptococcus infection. So it's strep. Everybody has strep inside their body. It's just that during hormonal cycles, whether it's puberty or menstruation or some other, or uh, menopause, some type of hormonal, sh hormonal shift or severe stress, like major stress, betrayal, broken trust, something happens in your life, a loss. What happens is when we have any hormonal shifts in the body, the immune system drops. When the immune system drops, anything that sits inside of everybody, like streptococcus, staph, uh, MRSA, um, uh, pathogens of all kinds, they rise. They rise up. Well, when it rises up, it creates a problem. Streptococcus rises up out of our lymph system. And boom, we have acne now. We have acne on our chest. We have acne on our, on our back. We have acne on our face. We have acne all kinds of places. And the liver still plays a role. Immune system drops. The liver's immune system drops. All these bugs and things rise up. But either way, like acne, the cause of acne is streptococcus. And, but people don't know this. It's a medical medium piece of information. But oddly enough, it gets taken later. Science uses it. Functional doctors use it. They don't cite back. Only some of them do. Some of them don't. But either way, yes. Like, that's one example. You've written about toxic heavy metals throughout the medical medium series and, again, in Brain Saver. And, you know, it's something that we never hear about. What turns you on to this issue? And is this something that the average person should be worrying about, heavy metal toxicity? Well, toxic heavy metals information, medical meme information for 35 plus years now getting out there and, and teaching about it. You'll see now, you'll see some doctors talk about metals. They don't have a study to cite from and they don't have any kind of uh, papers or studies, but they'll start talking about metals because they got it from the medical medium books all originally published. Now, here's how it works. Metals build up inside our body and they build up inside our brain. And metals don't stay in the bloodstream, you guys. So if you go to the doctor and they do a blood test, sorry about this, they do a blood test and they draw blood out and they look for toxic heavy metals, they'll see very little because it's not about exposure in your bloodstream in the moment. It's about metal settling in your organs. Once the metal's in your organ, you're not going to get a brain biopsy to look for metals. A doctor's not going to say, oh, well, ma'am, sir, we're going to go in there and dissect a piece of your brain and study it and look for metals. They're not. It's like hands off. The metals settle inside the organs, and then they start to oxidize. Metals age. They actually oxidize. And when they oxidize, they rust. So we have all these little tiny nanoparticles of metal inside our brain and body, and they start to oxidize. And then that oxidation starts to create that depression, starts to create that depersonalization, starts to create OCD, starts to create a feeling of being lost or feeling like you need to be somewhere else and could even head into Alzheimer's because it does. It's metals that create Alzheimer's. It's metals that create dementia and it's clusters of metals that creates Tourette's. 
And so it's super small fragments of metal and they can't find it because it's not in our plain sight and plain view. Well, in your book, you have over 300 symptoms and conditions. I'm curious, is there is there a common thread there or at least a couple common causes that lead to a number of symptoms? Absolutely. And it varies in some other ways. You'll see in the symptoms, conditions in the book and 300 symptoms, conditions, both brain related, neurologically related. And that's the problem. But there's a correlation between pathogens, metals, different toxins and poisons, stress and emotional stress too. I'm never going to undermine emotional stress when we go through things and what it does to the brain physically and body. It's, it's, really incredible. Well, let's talk about some of the solutions then. What about diet? I mean, I think people are so quick to jump on fad diets and those diets, let's be real, soon become inconvenient or boring or even difficult to sustain. But is there one that you subscribe to, particularly for chronic illness? Well, eat better diets just don't work when it comes down to chronic illness. Eat better diets are fun. I mean, in a way, many ways, they're uh, they're good because they get rid of processed foods. They get rid of fried, greasy foods. So eat better diets. There's a whole bunch of them out there to pick from. You can pick from 50 of them. There's doctors with eat better diets. There's podcast doctors with eat better diets. That's not chronic illness. Chronic illness, that's medical medium stuff. That's medical medium information. Mystery, chronic illness. And what that is, is an eat better diet isn't going to do the trick. You got tingles and numbness. You got aches and pains, burning skin. You got pain in your jaw, pain in your neck, trigeminal neuralgia, back pain that's mysterious. You got all kinds of other issues going on, numbness, tingles everywhere, vertigo, dizziness, ringing in the ears, tinnitus. Eat better diets don't fix all that. So you can go on this eat better diet, that one, try keto, try that, try that, try that. Okay. You might get some results because you're getting off cookies, cakes, and donuts, cookies, cakes, and donuts, and whatever else you're getting off of the fried, greasy processed foods. But guess what? There's a stopping point when you're chronically sick, you can still be chronically sick off your cookie, cakes, and donuts. And on an eat better diet, medical medium info takes the person to this other level of, wait a minute. You can bring in this, you can bring in that. The tools are here. One size fits all does not work for everybody. And don't get me wrong. I love to eat better stuff out there because it takes people off the cookies, cakes, donuts, and the processed foods. But the difference is once you hit a wall and you've been off that and you're still at each internist and doctor and specialist and neurologist, you may need something else because you're not like everybody else. Well, and you have a number of cleanses in your protocols book. I also noticed that many of the recipes were rich in alkaline foods, leafy greens, berries, all that good stuff, which feels inherently right and true. But is there a method behind it? Well, the world of health's anti-fruit has been anti-fruit. Um, I broke that whole thing out where now fruit is allowed in the keto diets. Now fruit is allowed in all the different diets. It's MM info. And I hate sounding like I'm this big man that did all this big stuff and I got a big head and ego and I'm trying to prove my point. That's not it. It's you weren't allowed to eat fruit in the health movement. It didn't exist. So medical medium information brought that in. That's why you have berries in the keto diet. Now that's why you have uh, more fruit in the, the Mediterranean diet. It's all because of MM. And it's not because I'm smart. Like I said, it's from getting the message, being the messenger, and then working hard at trying to save people who are chronically ill. So when it comes down to it, sure, wild foods is what's in the medical medium books, accessible, like the wild blueberry, um, herbs, which are critical, really accessible herbs, leafy greens. Leafy greens were not in the health movement years ago, you guys. It was just iceberg lettuce. It was just lettuce, and that was it. We brought in the leafy greens. I spent 25, 30 plus years getting the leafy greens out there, the kale movement, all of it. So the whole point is, is yes, leafy greens, wild foods, herbs, fruits, and vegetables. That's part of it. You can eat animal protein on medical medium. You can also skip animal protein on medical medium. It's not one size fits all where, okay, you do medical medium. You can't do this. Not true. You can customize to what you, if you're a meat eater, if you're an animal protein person, if you like fish, or if you're vegan, plant-based, and you don't want any of it or vegetarian. And that's the whole point of what we're doing. All right. Well, I can't let you go without asking you about celery juice. Is this the number one thing people should be doing? And I'll be completely forward with you, transparent. I subscribe to the celery juice movement. I love it. That's incredible. It's saving lives. It's an incredible tool. It's one of the medical medium tools. Now, I didn't create a celery stick. We know that. But what spirit of compassion, that's the term I use for the voice I hear, 
Um, that's what it is, spirit of compassion. What happens is that 16 ounces on an empty stomach of straight celery juice, don't add anything in it. No lemon water in there. No, no lemon in there. No collagen powder in there. No water in there. No ice. Straight celery juice. Strain it after you juice it to so a fine mesh strainer and you strain it and do the 16 ounces on an empty stomach and things change. You could be a person who's tried everything and done that, done everything. And when you bring in the celery juice, the needle starts to move. It's a miracle. It's one of the medical medium tools. And the reason why is it's killing off little buggies that are not supposed to be inside of us. Yeast, mold, all kinds of crazy stuff, bacteria, things that aren't good. It's killing things off and then it's helping to loosen up the poison and toxins and pull it out. And then it rebuilds the stomach acids. People say gut, like you'll hear uh, trendy stuff, the gut, the gut, the gut. Well, what about the gut? What about rebuilding the HCL, the hydrochloric acid? What about our stomach glands? What about our bile and our liver? These are the things that matter in the gut. And celery juice changes that in people. It's incredible. But that's one of the medical medium tools. There's the brain shot therapies in the medical medium brain saver books that are mind blowing that people are screaming about right now. There's so many different cleanses in the medical medium books. So you can pick one out for yourself because you're a different person than the other person. We're not all the same. You can't box us up into one size fits all. And we want instant relief, like in the brain saver books. Plus we want to fix things over time. It's, it's here. I can't say it enough. All right, Anthony William is the medical medium whose newest books, Brain Saver and Brain Saver Protocols, are available in stores now. Congratulations on your latest success. I'm honored, you guys. Thank you for giving me a chance to, to send the message out. I can't thank you enough. Okay.